in general, I think if I was in a car, I don't think I'd hit a pedestrian uh, on purpose, uh, even if it was their fault. Pedestrians will soon be flooding the streets around Purdue's campus. We'll let you know about some new laws affecting drivers and pedestrians alike. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Gina Quattrochi. New state legislation is aimed at making crossings safer for pedestrians, but local authorities say the law just enforces rules already on the books. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro joins us now live from Purdue's campus with more on the newest pedestrian law. Alex? Hi, Jeff. Those students returning to Purdue this fall will no longer have the right of way in crosswalks like these if they don't have the walk signal, according to a new law. But local authorities say this is the way things have just always worked. Students know they should be using caution when they're crossing campus streets. I like to uh, do what my mother taught me when I was young and just look both ways before I cross. It gets the job done. Unfortunately for some, simply doing what their mothers taught them may not be enough to keep them out of trouble. Purdue Police Chief John Cox says this year patrols will be paying special attention to pedestrians not obeying the laws. I won't pay particular attention to uh, students that aren't paying attention and either crossing improperly or stepping out in front of vehicles when they shouldn't be. A new law that went into effect July 1st states that pedestrians will no longer have the right of way at crosswalks like these without the walk sign. But Cox says that's already the law of the road. I look through it, it really doesn't change the way that we operate. I think that the language in the summary is a little confusing. There's never a time that when a pedestrian is in a crosswalk that a vehicle can just push their way through that intersection. Cox says the crossing guards implemented last year will also be making an appearance again this fall. We're going to get them out early on and use them more as a public relations tool uh, and get the information out early so that we don't have one of those months where we have a spike because uh, students aren't paying attention. For many students rushing around campus though, even new laws and crossing guards won't change their bad habits. I think the drivers are pretty careful. Like honestly, I know it's wrong and I shouldn't do this, but what can you say? We're just college students. Pedestrians and drivers can be ticketed for breaking any of these laws. Cox says those crossing guards and extra patrols will be out in these first few weeks of school. Reporting live in West Lafayette, Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.